<sighs> All right, how's it going, everybody? Crazy here. I'm back again with another reaction, and we're finally at the fourth piece uh, for this Living Tombstone series. Uh, this one's called I Got No Time. Uh, it's the fourth installment of the Five Nights at Freddy series that Living Tombstone has uh, put up for music. And uh, before I get started with this, I'm just going to preface the fact that uh, I never really got too far into the Five Nights at Freddy's video game series. Uh, the only thing that I have is that collection that is available on the PS4. Haven't beaten the, the first one. Uh, however, with videos uh, that I have watched on YouTube and TikTok, I've been able in talking to other people, watching the movie, uh, playing a little bit of the game and watching Markiplier. Uh, I've been able to put a lot of pieces together and these uh, videos from Living Tombstone have helped out a, uh, a lot too. And it really goes to show with watching these videos that uh, the, the, the guy behind Living Tombstone is a very big fan of this, but a lot of people are. And there's a lot of cool lore when it concerns this and how rabid the fan base is, is just wonderful. Um, and unfortunately, this is the still shot of the very opening of the song. However, the song does play through this. So we get to see some upcoming shows from seven years ago that Living Tombstone is doing. Uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the song. I like this little march thing. So I'm having a hard time already with uh, trying to figure out who this is coming from the perspective of. Um, but the ba uh, like the, the drum beat is the one thing that stands out the most. Um, the uh, animation on this drastically fucking changed. And it's now kind of like a paper mache looking kind of uh, background of a bedroom, as you can see clearly see and that obviously being a closet a couple of toys i i i do re i do recognize some of the toys like the little caterpillar boy and the the fucking the phone with the eyes the little robot i feel like i've seen that before somewhere but i'm not 100 percent uh nevertheless uh that's not what it's about it's about the song isn't it Okay. Okay, once again, he's... Okay, so I think this is the security guard. <laughs> okay, so in a way, yeah, they're talking about the, the fucking animatronics and everything. Okay, so obviously it, fade, it it cut to black, so things are gonna change up now. Oh damn, I was not expecting that at all. <laughs> but that's actually pretty interesting. That's unique. Um, a Ferris wheel. Whoa, the colors, Duke. Shit, it reminds me of a Ferris wheel. Okay, now it's the hallway. Is it the perspective of the animatronic now? And, and it's back into the bedroom. So, like, who is this coming from the perspective of? Like, I'm, I'm having a hard time trying to figure out who this is coming from the perspective of. The, but, like, the, the, the lyricism is dope. I, I really like the way that it's being done. It's very catchy too. Huh. 
and, and back to this. So it really has, it really doesn't feel like it has anything to do with Five Nights at Freddy's. Like, breaking it down, it's like, really doesn't feel like it has anything to do with FNAF at all. Except for maybe that part. We have like a little clock. I bet it stops at six. Okay. Yep, there's four. Okay, so that that right there might be a little tie-in. Da 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 da. Because that's exactly how it was in the first song. Five Nights at Freddy's. Like, there's your tie-in right there. Oh. Okay, so thank you, Scott Cawthorn, for the amazing franchise and the FNAF fans for the support. And I believe that's probably the end of it. Yeah, that's that's the end of it. Um, So, like... Other than it being an original piece, like, I really don't feel like that it has really much to do, at least for me, um, just based off of the things that I know, which is very limited, uh, the Five Nights at Freddy's series. Uh, it just doesn't feel like it has anything to do with Five Nights at Freddy's. But I might be missing something, because as I've said before, and I've said it throughout the entire series of the FNAF songs that I've covered. Uh, I never really got too far into the video games. So chances are pretty good that I've probably missed something. But as for the song itself, it, it, it's a very catchy tune and I really like it. It, it's, it has a feel good kind of tune. And, and that is what makes it in and of itself rather enjoyable for me. But to each his own, I guess. Um... Uh, to close this uh, series out, when it concerns the living tombstone as an entity itself, aside from it being about Five Nights at Freddy's, because I know that living tombstone, I can see it right here in the recommendations of this song. Living Tombstone has other songs that are not FNAF related. And Living Tombstone has probably been around for quite some time doing stuff other than FNAF shit. So... It's definitely something else to look into. I just wanted to do the FNAF shit because, well, let's face it, the movie was a fucking box office smash. As opposed to what the fucking asshole dumb fuck critics over at Rotten Tomatoes think, it's actually a good movie. Fuck you, Rotten Tomatoes, with your 18%. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching this and the entire uh, Living Tombstone FNAF series with me. If you want to watch this video on your own, uh, if you haven't already, uh, without all of my stop going jargon, link is going to be in the description below. Like and share this video. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't done that already. Check out my merch store. And if you're feeling generous, send me a thank you. Uh, with that being said, I'm crazy. That was my reaction. I definitely got to play some more Five Nights at Freddy's. With that being said, I'm out of here. Deuces, y'all.